our topic for today is how to multiply rational algebraic expressions. But before that, let us have a review. We have example number one, one half times four over seven. Look for the GCF. We have four and two, and their GCF is two. So we have four times, uh, four divided by two is two, and two divided by two is one. Multiply the remaining numbers. One times two is two over one times seven is seven. Next, we have two thirds times one fifth. As you can see, all of these numbers are prime, so we don't have common factor. So all you have to do is to multiply the numerators and the denominators to get the product. So two times one is two over three times five is 15. Last, we have two-fifths times three over eight. So we have common factor, two and eight. Two and eight have common factor, which is two. So two divided by two is one, and eight divided by two is four. One times three is three over five times four is 20. In multiplying rational algebraic expressions, it's just the same as multiplying fractions, just like what we did a while ago. So let us uh, find the product of these expressions. We have 3x over 10 times 5 over 6x squared. The first thing that you have to do is to look for the common factor, a greatest common factor. In this case, we have 3 and 6. They have common factor which is 3. So 3 divided by 3 is 1 and 6 divided by 3 is 2. 5 and 10 also have a common factor which is 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1 and 10 divided by 5 is 2. Now let us take a look at the variables. We have x in the numerator and x squared in the denominator. So in that case, x is the common factor x divided by x is 1 and x squared divided by x will give you x. So multiply all the remaining numbers and variables. 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 2 is 4x. So we have 1 over 4x. For our next example, we have 4m over 5n times 5mn squared over 10mn. Look for the common factor. It is so obvious that we have 5 and 5 here in the numerator and the denominator. They have common factor which is 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1 and 5 divided by 5 is also 1. 4 and 10 also have a common factor which is 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2 and 10 divided by 2 is 5. Look for the variables. We have m here in the numerator actually there are two m's and uh, one m in the denominator so the common factor is m m divided by m is one and m divided by m is one so we are left with one m in here n squared in the numerator we have n squared in the numerator we also have n here in the denominator so n squared, the common factor is n, n squared divided by n is n, and n divided by n is 1. In here we have n over n, n over n is 1. So multiply, 2 times 1 times 1 times 1 is 2m over 1 times 1 times 5 times 1 times 1 is 5. our practice we have 6 over 5x times 3x squared over 8y squared 6 and 8 have common factor which is 2 so 6 divided by 2 is 3 and 8 divided by 2 is 4 we have x squared in here in the numerator and x in the denominator so the common factor is x x squared divided by x is x and x divided by x is 1. So we don't have x in here in the denominator. And we don't have y in the numerator. 
So, tira na yan. So, we have 3 times 3, which is 9. X over 5 times 1 times 4 is 20Y squared. The product is 9X over 20Y squared. Did you get the same answer? I hope so. Let us multiply 2AB over 3B squared and 6A over 7. 6 and 3 have common factor, which is 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 3 divided by 3 is 1. Uh, A, we have two A's here. A and A in the numerator. But in the denominator, we don't have a variable of A. So let us move to another variable, which is B. We have B in the numerator and B squared in the denominator. So the common factor, their common factor is B. B divided by B is 1 and B squared divided by B is B. So we have 2A here and A and 7. Yeah. So multiply 2 times 2 is 4. A times A is A squared over 1 times 7, 7 B. So the product is 4A squared over 7B.